It's been one day since former officer Derek Chauvin was found guilty in George Floyd's death. And now leaders across the country are looking to make changes in police forces. And that includes here in Ohio, where just yesterday a Columbus police officer shot and killed a 16-year-old girl. Tonight, we will hear from her mother and the mayor of Columbus. But first, a look at proposed police reform in Ohio. Just a few hours ago, the governor announced new measures are coming to Ohio in the coming days via police reform bill. Brandon Simmons explains what's included and the problems to be addressed. The day after Derek Chauvin was found guilty for his part in the death of George Floyd, Governor Mike DeWine announced new police reform measures are on the way here in Ohio. Uh, this bill will increase accountability and transparency in law enforcement. The governor worked with lawmakers, civil rights leaders, and police on measures that would make policing better across the state. The major change, a state oversight board for police that would require officers obtain licenses. State board that has the ability to pull a license, to suspend a license. Uh, it's time we do that in the area of law enforcement. The new bill would also create a statewide use of force database to track incidents and would require independent investigations when they do occur. Another key portion of the bill revolves around training. No matter where you're a police officer in Ohio, you ha should have basic training every single year at a high level. This continuing education would now be required by the roughly 900 police agencies across the state who currently have different rules and standards for training. We need to mandate minimum continuing professional education training hours just as we do in other, in other professions. Finally, for officers who do break the rules on the job, there will be a new statewide discipline database. That means an officer's record would follow them, even if they try to hide past issues by switching departments. Governor Mike DeWine satisfied by the proposed changes. These are just common sense reforms, but they're reforms that need to be made. Now, again, this bill will be introduced in the coming days by a Dayton area legislator, obviously getting full support from the governor as well. DeWine says the changes will put Ohio at the forefront of police reform around the country, Laura. That announcement coming in just a few hours ago. Brandon Simmons, thank you.